Now, one of the most common questions that I get from students is how do you remember everything you study? And to be honest, for the first few years of med school, I didn't. Because at the time, I was taking a lot of notes, highlighting almost every word in the textbook, and rereading everything more than twice. But nothing actually stuck with me. And so I would forget almost everything I studied days, weeks, or even months later, and I barely passed my exams during that period. But everything changed when I learned the study technique that actually works for exams, and it completely changed how I study and got me to stop taking notes and help me pass and get a high score in almost all of my exams. So in this video, I'll show you why taking notes is a waste of time, the study technique that actually works for exams and how to apply it to your own studying. So you'll be able to remember more in less time, pass your exams, and finally have time for like hanging out with friends, spending time with family, and just having more time for the things that actually matter to you. Let's get into it. Now, whether you're studying for your weekly exams in medical school or you're preparing for a big exam like a licensure exam or just about any exam in whatever course that you're taking, I would say that taking down notes is a total waste of time. Now, just to be clear, I'm saying this only in the context of taking exams and not for note taking in general, because obviously if you're writing a research paper or you're preparing for an essay type exam or taking down notes from a nonfiction book, like a personal improvement book, for example, then note taking is very useful because taking down notes from the nonfiction books that you read and while making sure that you rewrite them in your own words is how you truly distill the concepts from that book and without doing this there's no way to know if you've actually learned the information but in the context of studying for exams note taking is probably not the best approach to pass your exams because most of the time when students take down notes from a lecturer they write it word for word right like for example if the teacher says the most common cause of disease x is y then the student just writes that down word for word and it's the same thing with textbooks like because the information in medical textbooks for example is often technical it's hard to put it in your own words so you just copy everything as it is but the problem is you can pretty much take down notes verbatim with almost no thinking because it's like the words go straight from your ear to your hand if you're listening to a lecture or from your eyes to your hand if you're reading a textbook completely bypassing the brain and that means that there's no real processing of information or no actual learning or understanding that is happening and that's why i never really took down notes when i was in med school or when i was studying for any exams and it's a total waste of time and energy and that's time and energy that I would rather spend on study techniques that actually help me learn and remember the information that I need to know for the exam. And so the next question is, if note taking is a waste of time, then what can you do instead? And so instead, I would suggest that what you can do is to use a study technique that closely mimics or simulates the actual exam that you're going to take. So if your exam is a fill in the blanks, for example, then flashcards might be useful. But for most exams in medical school, which are multiple choice exams, the best thing you can do is to do practice tests and doing practice tests. They work because of the way the memory actually works, because like when you just reread the study material, you're just passively putting information that you've studied before back into your brain. But actually, our memory of that information, it only gets stronger whenever we try to pull that information out of our brains. And doing practice tests helps you to do this because it forces you to recall that information. It trains your brain to retrieve it. So when you sit for the real exam, it's not the first time that you're trying to pull that information from your memory. And on top of that, doing practice tests, it also shows what topics usually come up in your exams. And that helps you spend more time and energy on the stuff that actually matters instead of trying to cover and memorize everything. And so that leads us to the next part of the video, which is how do you actually apply doing practice tests? in your studying and the way I applied it in my studies was simple like instead of taking down notes I would do practice tests right away even if I hadn't studied the material yet and this will feel super frustrating at first because obviously you're not going to get most of the answers right and that's why I always get this question from students that I give this advice to which is why would I even do a practice test if I haven't read anything about the topic yet but what happens is when you do practice tests this way is that when you finally get to reading the study material after doing the practice test first is that the topics that came up in the practice test will stand out more and then you'll naturally pay more attention to them just because you've already seen them but if you 
you hadn't done practice tests before, those same topics might just blend in together as you skim. And you'd probably just forget them a few days or weeks or even months after. And that's why doing practice tests has become my main study strategy for exams in medical school because they helped me focus on the most relevant information and actually remember them when it mattered most, which is during the actual exam. And if you want to see exactly how I do practice tests step by step, I made a video about it a couple of months ago. It's called the Fill the Gaps Framework and I'll link it somewhere here so you can check it out. And now that you know how to study much faster and more effectively without taking down notes, the next question is how do you actually build the study habits that stick and actually help you with your studying. And if you're interested in that, then you might like to check out this video over here. It's about the five lessons from the book Atomic Habits that will help you pass your exams. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in that video. Bye.